and you waited. Thank you, Becky, for that introduction and uh, for uh, sharing your story. That's familiar to so many families. This gets down to a basic problem, a basic circumstance. It's just about fairness. It's just about simple fairness. You know, uh, folks are being tired of being taken advantage of and being played for suckers. That's why I'm here with the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, uh, Rohit Chopra. Where are you, Rohit? There you are. Ready? Stand up. Let people see who you are. And the chair of the Federal Trade Commission, Lena Khan. Lena, stand up. They're members of the Competition Council that I created to promote competition across the economy and lower costs for families. And I, I'm not going to introduce everybody, but you know, we wouldn't be getting anywhere without the incredible support of the members of Congress who are here today. And we may have to go back and actually change the law, change the circumstances. And so uh, I'm counting on you. Anyway, would all the members of Congress stand up so everybody can see you? In any fight I'm in, that's the team I want on my side. <laughs> Look, one of the key things I've asked the Council to tackle are the unfair fees known as junk fees, those hidden charges that companies sneak into your bill to make you pay more because they can, just simply because they can. Charges that are taking real money out of the pockets of American families. These junk fees can add up hundreds of dollars weighing down family budgets, and making it harder to pay family bills. These junk fees may not matter to the wealthy, but they sure matter to working folks in homes like the one I grew up in. The way I think about it is the way my dad talked about it and the way so many of you at home talk about it around the kitchen table. How much are your monthly bills, and after they're all paid, how much do you have left for necessities? It's enough, is, enough, is there enough left over just to give you a little bit of breathing room? Well, these junk fees suck up all that breathing room, among other things. Now, think of today. How many folks are asking how much more do they have to pay to cover those hidden junk fees that really add up? You know, over the past two years, my administration has taken, with the help of the members of Congress, a number of steps to crack down on unfair and deceptive junk fees in banking, hotels, concert, airlines, retail housing, or excuse me, re rental housing, cable, internet, uh, health care, a whole range of issues, a whole range of them. For example, two summers ago, if your flight was canceled or delayed, almost no major airline guarantee uh, anything other than costing you a fee to rebook that, even if it was their fault, you had to pay a fee to rebook. Now, 10 airlines rebook for free. Yes, friends, this could help millions of Americans a growing number of Democratic lawmakers are now pushing for the expansion of new tax credits. Checks worth thousands of dollars would be provided to low-income households nationwide. The U.S. Treasury Department is also aiming to make it easier to receive a $7,500 tax credit. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn more about this. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. I will be announcing several winners every Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. My dear friends, please make sure, friends, that you enter the giveaway by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. The American Rescue Plan Act temporarily increase the child tax credit for tax year 2021. The maximum credit was raised to $3,000 per child age 6 to 17 and $3,600 per child under the age of 6. This represented a significant increase from the previous amounts. Additionally, the ARPA made the child tax credit fully refundable for the 2021 tax year meaning that eligible families could receive the full amount of the credit as a refund, even if it exceeded their tax liability. Furthermore, the legislation introduced a concept of advanced payments of the child tax credit. So instead of waiting until a tax filing season to receive the credit, 
eligible families could receive a portion of the credit in advance through periodic payments, commonly referred to as the advanced child tax credit payments. Currently, Massachusetts has some of the highest child care costs in the nation, but it could become more affordable for some under a new tax relief law signed by Governor Mara Healy that comes amid rising costs and diminishing option for parents. A key feature of the $1 billion tax relief bill that Governor Healy signed last week will increase the tax credits for a dependent child, disabled adult, and senior from $180 to $310 in the 2023 tax year and up to $440 in tax year 2024 for low and some middle income families. Governor Healy said the tax credits would be the most generous child tax credits in the nation and benefit nearly 600,000 eligible families. The new law also eliminates the current limit of two qualifying dependents, meaning potentially even more savings for those with three or more children. For example, a qualifying couple with four children could receive an additional $1,280 a year starting in the 2024 tax year. While many of the provisions of the tax relief bill were originally proposed last year by former Governor Charlie Baker, Governor Healy made the child tax credit expansion a key plank of her campaign for governor, touting it as part of a broader plan to reduce the cost of living. Overall, the lack of child care options in Massachusetts is costing working families, some of whom are spending 20% to 40% of their annual incomes on programs. The average cost of child care is more than $20,000 a year in Massachusetts, the most expensive state in the nation, only behind Washington, D.C., and well above the national average of $15,900. And this is according to a recent report from the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation. Working families as a whole are losing an estimated $1.7 million a year in wages from not being able to show up for work because they cannot find or afford child care services. Now, friends, according to tax and energy experts, a new proposal by the U.S. Department of Treasury would make it easier for consumers to get a tax credit when buying a new or used electric vehicle. Its proposed rules would let car dealers offer the electric vehicle tax breaks to consumers at the point of sale, regardless of their federal tax liability. This would start on January 1, 2024. All eligible electric vehicle buyers, and not just a subset of eligible, typically wealthier consumers, would receive an upfront discount of up to $7,500 for new cars and $4,000 for used vehicles. Dealers were always supposed to offer point-of-sale discounts in 2024 as per tax of the Inflation Reduction Act. However, the tax liability issue was an open question. Well, my magnificent and most marvelous friends, thank you very much, friends, for being part of this community. This coming Friday and every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaway, friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, dearish friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.